Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Destiny, and today's video is going to be a haul video, and I'm pretty excited about this because I got some items that are going to be especially for spring makeup, spring trend tutorials, because this spring color is back in a big way, as I said in my previous video, and I'm very excited about that because, as you know, I love color. Step four, I'm going to be doing it a little bit different this spring. There are a lot of different trends at hand, very, very concentrated color on the eyes, and very popping orange peaches and corals for the lips so i'm very excited about that when to go ahead and jump in want to go ahead and say really fast that everything that's on my face will be listed at the end of this video as well as in the bottom bar can't remember everything i have on right now i had one of those days where i just put everything in reach on my face so with that being said let's jump in Okay, so firstly I want to start with two purchases I made at Target and they are the e.l.f. beauty books. I have here the smoky eye edition and the bright eye edition and in particular I really really love the bright eye edition because they have a lot of really pretty and very well pigmented colors here. I want to go ahead and show you. Um, these are only $5 at Target as I just said and they come with 12 eyeshadows for $5 and a really really great black little eyeliner that's actually really really creamy and then some type of little applicator and I actually use that just to clean up you know cat eyes and stuff like that it's pretty cool but not worth your time so they have a row of purples a row of greens right here in browns and then some nude colors and I really really like how they have this laid out because you have a nice highlighting shimmery color you have a mid-tone, a little bit of a deeper shimmer color, and then you have some really great contour colors. And actually, you have just one matte in this palette, but they're all beautiful colors. They're absolutely wonderfully pigmented, and they're just really, really pretty. They have just a very creamy texture. I will go ahead and swatch that one matte color since mattes are usually the colors you have problems with. And I will just swap my hand. It's really actually... Uh, moisturized with Vaseline so it's not sticking very well but there you go right there and that is the blue from the bright eye matte palette the bright the L uh, bright eye palette that's the, actually the blue matte and I really really love that a lot again these are five dollars they come in this cute little book it's very portable you can actually stack these up if you have some type of shelf in your room they're great for storage great for traveling they have a little mirror they're inexpensive they're really great for beginners if you need something to experiment with these are great even for professionals I actually I have um, my very first one here is the beauty book and this is the smoky eye edition as well wow are they the same no actually they're different but this is a smoky eye edition and I've taken this with me to do jobs so I mean they're wonderful and um, I actually want to swatch this one too. This one is a beautiful purple with like blue glitter in it. And here that is right here. I hope you can see that. It's really, really pretty. Really, really pretty. They're really pigmented. And then the next one is the new Smoky Eye Edition. And this actually has a lot of really beautiful blues in it. Dark purples, grays. I actually have not even opened this one yet. But you can see those here. And you have like some beautiful highlighting colors and then your contour colors. This palette actually has four mattes in it. A beige, a couple of purples, a plum, and then a nice black, which is awesome. Because it's hard to find a really good inexpensive matte black eyeshadow. And I'm sure this one is going to be great. And then over here, they have a little bit of instructions and things on how you can use these. So again, those are the e.l.f. beauty books. I got the smoky eye and the bright eye. And they're both from Target and they're both $5. My next purchase I actually had for a little while and if you're familiar with foundation and if you're familiar with me you know I'm a foundation junkie and so this is the Vita Lumi A Chanel and this is in color Chestnut Intensity 8.5 and I absolutely love this foundation. Now the thing about this is I can't use it all over my face. Um, not really. I can if I'm going for a little bit of a brighter look but I definitely have to contour with this for sure. If I don't do that, I actually just use it here in my T-zone and this is actually a really really wonderful product. I really like this. I'm going to do a, a, a full review and tutorial for you guys and actually let you know more about the product itself but I thought I'd show you that I got this. Again, this is Chanel's Vita Lumiere in intensity 8.5 chestnut and I actually purchased this from eBay so if you're interested in trying this out eBay would be a good place to try. However, I want to make you aware of the fact that this 
screws off very easily and can easily be filled with some junk and you don't know what it is. So buyer beware, I actually took this to, to the Chanel store and one of the women assured me that it was their product, at least under her knowledge. Smells the same, acts the same, and is the same color as the Chanel Vada Lumiere that they actually sell there at the counter itself. Another product that I actually got from the drugstore is the NYX Glitter Cream Palette and I actually bought this a while ago but I'm going to start using it very soon because these colors are going to be very very hot for the spring and summer and I am very excited. All these pretty blues and aqua colors and you have a black here. I've actually played with it a few times. Um, as you can see right there it is absolutely wonderful and it's going to be great to do some glitter overlay overlays some glitter cat eyes and some glitter just blinged out bright eyeshadow it's going to be wonderful so there that is it actually comes with five colors and i'd have to say that this one is my favorite this is kind of like a navy bluish um with an overlay of like cobalt blue glitter then you have like an aqua color you have a black with a blue green and um, maybe some reds, glitter explosion in there. You have this very pretty bright blue, kind of like a sky blue, and then you have this silver, silverish baby blue, which is really, really awesome. Got that from the drugstore. I think this is about five dollars and change, and they have quite a few of these. So you can also get it from I think CherryCulture.com, and you can Google NYX Cosmetics and find it just about everywhere. Okay, so I actually went out and I bought some more of the CoverGirl Lip Perfection lipsticks. I really, really like them a lot. They have great colors, great payoff, and I bought three more. I actually got Soulmate, Verve, and Rush. Soulmate has to be my favorite of this haul. It's kind of a, a plummy color, almost um, more of a reddish plum. And here that is right here. It is absolutely gorgeous. Very, very pigmented, smooth and creamy. Though this one also stains a little bit. If you would like to see another review on a few of these lipsticks, I will have a link somewhere within the video where you can do that. So again, that is Soulmate. This right here is Verve, which is a very bright, powdery, blue tone of pink, which is really pretty. I actually just used this in my green eyes and pink lip makeup tutorial. And if you'd like to see that, then you can click the picture in this video to see that tutorial. And then this one right here is Rush, and it's kind of like a rosy nude color. Perfect for dark skin girls. Perfect for anybody as a nude or a brownish tone. But if you're darker skin, this would be a really great nude. And this is Rush. It's really, really pretty. I also got a few lip liners and a whole bunch of Mary Kay, but since I have the lip liners in my hand, let me just go ahead and show you really fast. But this is NYX Hot Pink, and I actually also use this in the makeup tutorial for green eyes pink lips. And it's called Hot Pink, and you can see that right here. It's a blue tone pink, my favorite. If you watch my videos, then you know that. So again, that's right there. That is Hot Pink from NYX. And then I also got Orange from NYX and I really really love orange lips I am excited about this fall this fall this spring so again that's orange hot pink rush and verb these are from NYX and these are from CoverGirl okay so I have quite an assortment of Mary Kay lipstick and if you've ever tried Mary Kay lipstick you know they're phenomenal they're pigmented they're moisturizing they well wear and they, they wear well and they just look wonderful on your face you can definitely tell a very cheap lipstick from a very good high quality lipstick and these are very good and high quality not to say that you can't find a really good inexpensive lipstick because some of my favorite lipsticks are actually from wet n wild and they're two dollars and change and they're awesome that being said let me go ahead and show you the colors i got so i'll read them off i got downtown brown toffee hibiscus garnet frost pink satin pink melon and whipped berries i'm gonna go ahead and swatch them for you really fast this is downtown brown which is a really pretty reddish brown with a little bit of light reflection in there. This is going to be an awesome, awesome nude um, for very dark skinned women who want to have kind of that pretty reddish brown tint to your lips. Very, very pretty. I actually have a really good friend whose really good friend loves this color. You know who you are. Downtown brown that's really, really pretty. This is going to be pink melon, which is almost a pinky peachy color. Very, very pigmented and very, very moisturizing. That's pink melon right there. Love this color. I'm going to be using this in an upcoming tutorial, actually. Can't wait for that. 
This one is toffee. Ooh, and that one's a little bit melted. But that's going to be toffee. And that is kind of a... It almost comes out peachy, but it's kind of supposed to be brownish. There's a little bit of red in there. There's no sparkle whatsoever. That has a very, very nice cream finish to it. Love that one. My next one up is whipped berries. And that is right here. And this is a very pretty berry color. Very smooth. No sparkle in that. I love that. Absolutely think that's a wonderful color. Very, very pretty. That's whipped berries. Next is going to be hibiscus, which is one of my favorite colors. It's a blue tone pink, except for it has kind of like a, a deepness to it that's very grown up. And I love that. It's not too bright and shocking, though it does set a nice contrast if you have darker skin. Hibiscus is going to be a wonderful color for you. It's very, very pretty. Next is pink satin, which is right here. And this is kind of a melony color. Not even a melony color. It's a pink kind of palish color it, it almost comes off as a nudie pink but it's very very pretty and it has some light reflection in there of kind of gold so that's going to look great on everybody it's going to be wonderful and then my last one is garnet frost which is kind of a frosty color but it's kind of a, a pink peachy color i can't even describe that that's gorgeous I'm loving hibiscus, I'm loving toffee, I'm loving downtown brown, I'm loving all of them. But here they are. I will have a picture at the end of the video with the names next to them so you can see them. And I will actually also have swatches of these on my lips in my blog. My blog has not launched yet. It was supposed to launch on February 22nd. I had some problems with my internet connection. I'm going to be relaunching. I'm not sure when. I want to say March 1st. But I want to make sure everything is wonderful for you guys. Everything is set up and professional. Now, I've never had a blog on a blog spot. But I'm very excited and I hope you guys like it. It's going to be really cool. It's going to be interactive. I'm going to be there chatting. It's going to be fun. It's going to be great. Now I think that is it for my haul. I want to make sure that I showed you everything that I intended to show you. And I believe I did. So I'm going to go ahead and say thank you guys so much for watching as always. I really appreciate your support, commenting, rating, subscribing, asking me questions, being very supportive and interactive. I really, really appreciate it because there's a million people on YouTube you can watch, which you probably also do, but you also watch me and you're very supportive and I appreciate it to know it and you have no idea. So guys, thank you so much again for commenting, rating, and subscribing. I'll be in touch and hopefully you'll do the same. Bye.